stop you, give us something good. Gold, I mean, not great, to be honest with you. Like, we don't need gold. We don't have Talkor that we're running into at the end of the run, so, like, getting gold kind of kind of useless in a way. So, um, have we gotten hit yet? We have not gotten hit yet because we still have the Crystal Dagger here, or the Glass Dagger, which is pretty, pretty showy. So, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So, it shouldn't be too bad. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lotus here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, you all am enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We're going to play some Missing this run. Um, this should be pretty, pretty interesting. Um, it's been a little bit since we've ran Missing, but, uh, I mean, we are running uh, the final um, expert mode on Midgard. So, hopefully, uh, the next time we run Missing, we'll be on a new island for him we do only need 109 seeds to get the relic exchanger so we should be getting that this episode it does look like that we did end up getting the um the pools which isn't too bad um shouldn't be shouldn't be too terrible what else did we get um <clears throat> we don't have i mean we have this as a summon but not really we do have air which I'm very grateful for. Um, damage to bosses. So that'll be an easy one to take. Poison damage we don't really have. We got two lightnings. Oh, Thunder Codex is so good. I mean, these three over here could easily... Could easily max out. Or you could get them to en double enhance and easily wipe out uh, the entire map. Um... Do have this one. What is this guy? 2.5 damage isn't bad either. And then you got minions elite die. Oh, so we can get both. That's actually huge. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna run this time because like air is super good, of course. Then you got the lightning codex, which is also super good. You have um I think the last time I ran the pool, I mean we're gonna run the pool on um of course we got poison mushroom. Luckily, uh, we can level up our poison now, and it'll actually mean something. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go double poison or double poison, double ascension on the uh, on the dark crystal here, because or the deep crystal, because the reason why um, is mainly because I'm gonna end up doing this on the next. Um, Pansy run so i don't want to i don't want to hit it too often um so and, and we've already ran lightning a million times so i think i might go air um we haven't ran air super often um to the point where it's like i mean we haven't ran deep crystal either but the main reason why i don't want to run deep crystal is because um we're gonna end up doing it soon on hansy like the next hansy run is gonna be deep crystal so that's the only reason why I don't want to do that. Um, also, I know I'm saying um a lot. I need to stop that. Lightning Codex, we ran a hundred times on Fgrim, mainly because I absolutely love running that item. <laughs> um, like it's just like the one of the best ones. It, it wave clears like crazy. Um, so that's probably the reason why it is my absolute favorite. Um, so. We're going to end up running, uh, let's see here if we can make it around. We're going to end up running air. Hopefully that should be good. Um, we do have these two over here. I don't think I'm going to really end up running them. Um, anyways, I mean, I might still take this guy, but we're not going to, we're not going to end up running, running them. Um, I guess I'll try and get another projectile. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to run that in the next uh, fancy one. I mean, I also love air as well. Air is so good. Even though I'm pretty sure we, we ran this not too long ago as well. So, 
But that's all right. We do have the freezing pass, which we'll try out. Um, but I love air. Air is just so... I don't know, just so good. The wave clear, it just, feel, it just feels satisfying running it. All right, let's see here. Let's run down here. We only need 109 uh, seedlings. We're already up to 10, which is pretty good. Can't complain there. We're probably going to end up maxing out our gold again, which I'm I'm perfectly A-OK -okay with. We don't have talk ore this time, so we gotta be careful there, but that's alright. That's alright. We don't need talk ore to make, uh, make some money moves, you know? Make some good progress without them. Ooh, looks like a little epic chest here. Not epic, um, rare chest. Projectile speed could be massive. I think I'm gonna go area, just to see if, like, we can... I don't know if we if the birds will get bigger with area. That would be very interesting if it does. So we'll see. We'll see with that. Um, we have the gold one down here. Let's run down here and see what uh, see what they have to offer us. Hopefully something good. All right. Let's see here. Um. Oh, more gold. I'll take it. I'll take it. Twenty five gold. Easy peasy lemon squeezy babe. I'll take twenty five gold. Can't complain with that. Uh, it looks like we do have damage and cooldown. I think dark blue is cooldown. So that, that's, that's actually two of the better ones, I would say. For uh, altars or monoliths or shrines or whatever you may call them. We do need to try and get more XP. The XP does feel a little slim for being a... Uh, expert mode level the wave clear doesn't seem too bad yet definitely feels like it needs some work but we're not getting a lot of xp right now i'm, I'm sure it'll come I'm sure it'll come so i'm not too worried yet we're only halfway through the wave uh, let's see here Let's get that, let's get that, let's get that, let's get that. Oh my god, it gave us summons every single time. Okay. Um, I'll get the poison and we will continue. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I must have just got hit there. I don't I don't know what I got hit by. But I must have gotten hit. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, the uh, the birds are definitely doing some. Oh, what the hell? I died. Where the hell did we get hit from? Okay, well, I mean. That was a bit of a bummer, but let's uh, jump right in and try this again. I don't know how that, what the hell I got hit by. Um, it's probably going to change everything. Yeah, so we got daggers, pea shooters, uh, Inferno Codex, the coin, and then the bow. I think I'm going to go pea shooters and the bow, to be honest with you. I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know how, how the heck uh, we died there. I didn't really see anything that we were getting hit by. Um, I thought we were playing pretty safe, but then uh, we just died out of nowhere, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I also came back from uh, having the game paused for like 20 minutes because I had to take a phone call. But other than that, um, I think that could definitely threw us off a little bit. But that's okay, whatever. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. It's been a while since we've uh, died in a run, so I'll I'll take I'll take the loss. It is what it is. It is what it is. Ooh, this is good though. XP attraction. I'll take that. Since we were struggling a little bit in the last one, so I'll definitely take the XP attraction for this one. Can't complain there. The coin... Uh, let's take two more projectiles. Why the heck not, man? The coin is a weird one to take. Um, just because, like, it doesn't have, like, any... Like, progression with it. And I'm not gonna go double with it. Mainly because... 
Talkor only runs this, so we're gonna see it plenty of times when we're running Talkor. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push on it or anything like that. So it, that's okay. Uh, on the bright side, we only need, we need less than like a hundred to get the flipping uh, relic stuff. Penetration area. Let's do area. Let's let's get those coins bigger, baby. Make those coins nice and nice, and big and juicy. Cool, we'll pick you up. Give us something good, give us something good. Cool down penetration area. Let's do area again, why not? Why the heck not? Okay, uh, I mean, we're looking good so far, but I said that in the last one and we ended up dying out of just pure tomfoolery, so. Uh, let's see, movement speed plus 20, I'll definitely take that. That's not too bad. Um, that's already maxed, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see, so, yep, I'll take this. I'm totally taking this because this is super good. Um, if you guys haven't seen that yet, this is like the one of the best freaking summons ever. Um, on top of everything else, of course I can't get summons. Give me summons! There we go. Jeez Louise, man. Okay, um, I'm going to pass up on that for right now. I'm going to get some other stuff here. Uh, we can get damage. What is this one? Critical? Sure, why not? Um, projectiles or attack speed? Ooh, let's take projectiles, um, and then we'll take you. Um, okay, we, we are all out, but we should be looking very good. Very good. I do love... I love... Oh, crap, I forgot. I do love um, the pea shoot... The pea sprouts or pea shooters, whatever you want to call them. They're like one of my favorites because like when we ran Amaranth last time, if you guys didn't see it, we absolutely shredded, shredded um, the boss in less than a second. So definitely probably my favorite, um, my favorite one by far. So <laughs> definitely jump in and do that um, for sure. So I'm probably going to end up, just so you guys are tracking, I'm probably going to end up upgrading um, the pea shooters. For sure, because it is my absolute favorite um, one to go for. So definitely probably going to end up doing that. Um, so we got, I think, two chests I heard it sounded like. Maybe it was just two two kills. Um, attack speed I'll take for sure. Why not? Um, not the end of the world there. Come down here, grab this guy and some gold. And let's get uh, this going. I do want to continue getting this if possible. That's fine. Um, okay, I guess that's not going to work. But let's get uh, triple attack. Okay. And I, I, nothing's going to probably get near us now that we have a bunch of projectiles flying around, which is pretty good. So I'll definitely take that any day of the week. Uh, we do have movement speed down here, which isn't too bad. I'll run down here and pick up pick up some some movement speed, maybe make our way down to the... Um, I mean, the effect props isn't going to matter much because... Like, we don't have anything that will do anything other than, like the poison mushroom so but that's that's fine like we're doing we're doing just fine with what we got um let's see we got 55 gold which is actually absolutely insane like that's a lot of gold for uh where we are now in the last hood we definitely were struggling to get a little bit of gold but now we are doing pretty pretty gnarly stuff with the the amount of gold we got and we got the xp so i think sacrificing that last run for this run like sure even though i wasn't trying to do that it's definitely working out because uh we got way better stuff than we did in the last one we have let's see the experience attraction which is way better we have the mushroom i mean i guess is okay we have way more gold and we got like sprouts and all this other stuff which is just like we're just killing it dude we're just killing it dog we got this all right uh let's see so yeah we're gonna make our way up here we only have seven points though we definitely need more um more mobsters out in our out in a boot to try and get as much more xp as we could possibly get we didn't i didn't see an xp upgrade here oh we do have an xp upgrade okay cool Definitely get all of this. Uh, maybe some attack speed, why not? 
And we should get more XP now per little uh, little orb, which will hopefully pay off in the long run. Like, we don't have a whole lot of gold, but we definitely are getting a good amount of it. And that gold uh, XP. Back up to five points already, which is looking pretty good. Grab this run down here, see if we can get something going on. Day seven. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, we're almost max gold. I mean, I don't think we'll hit it unless we get a uh, big juicy, uh, big juicy boy. But um, right now, it doesn't look like we are going to hit having 99 gold. I mean, we're 20 down right now. I mean, you could easily get it if we get two uh, two big boys, two big big stack of ruskies. But I don't. At, at the moment, I don't see it. Um, keep almost walking into these guys. Like I gotta be careful because we only have four hearts. Like if I just keep walking into stuff, it's gonna it's gonna cost me uh, another run, man. I mean, we're definitely getting an, a good amount of XP. Okay, we're at 91 gold, so we might we might cap out. We might. Oh my gosh, look at the size of those coins now. Those coins have gotten huge. I mean, there are still some... Oh, the tiny ones are just the, the pea sprouts. The coins, though, are massive. All right. I mean, let's get close. Let's shred this this boss, dude. 92 gold. I'll take the 92 gold. That's that's fine by me. 92 gold works. So let's come here. Boom, 97. We got you. Uh, we could do additional poison, but that's not going to matter, I feel like, a whole lot. Definitely, let's take cool down. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip the poison. Additional, reduce the dash area. I want to try and juice the area up. We're up to 30% area. I definitely want this. Um, attack, cooldown. Uh, cooldown. Volleyball we've seen, or beach ball. Uh, projectile speed, cooldown. Damage and attack speed. I mean, Noki's only three, so I might as well take it. Six. Um, let's take more area, I guess. Cool. Let's get this show on the road. This should be interesting. Uh, we do have 29 points. Um, I'm going to use most of them on rolling for damage and summons. You know what? I'll take cooldown and summons. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll max you out. I'll max this out. I'll max this out. Ooh, cooldown actually. Let's max. try and max this out. Uh, we definitely want to get this ASAP. I don't know why I didn't get that, but uh, we do want to get that ASAP. Um, I'll do this to get that, and we can come over here and upgrade this. And we are looking at a Gucci. So let's get this. Holy shnikes, dude. Look at that. That's This is why I love the two upgrades for um, the Pea Sprouts, because they are just flipping insane, man. Like, it just takes up the whole screen it's it's so good no matter what character i mean there's only two characters you can or three characters you can run this on chaos uh this and the other one relic exchanger obtained 10,000 seeds we unlocked it let's go still don't know what that uh that means or does but sweet we got it maybe we'll check it out uh could either check it out although this episode's already gonna be long enough um so we might check it out in the next episode to see what the uh, relic exchanger is all about so we'll have to see we'll have to see but yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying the content um so once again make sure you guys tap that like button down below if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as it does show like 95 percent of you guys are not subscribed so make sure you guys click that button down there i'd greatly appreciate it you guys can also press the bell notification to get notified when a new video goes live as i do upload every single day and you guys don't want to miss out on any uh new content or new episodes that i tend to upload also, if you guys uh, want to join a very small community uh, that I am trying to build up, you guys can join the Discord link down below. You guys can also follow me on Twitter down below. Um, I do post over there occasionally. I was posting um, the daily uploads and stuff over there, but I have slowly gone away from that. Um, I, I do plan on getting back to that. So if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, you guys can. The link is down below, and uh, I'd greatly appreciate that as well, just to uh, grow the community and hopefully... Uh, get more feedback and whatnot from you guys and yeah i'll have a i'll have a good time but <clears throat> let's continue on this uh, uh it looks like we're not having a problem we are going to get the 50 percent uh experience gain here which is 
super, super good. I definitely do enjoy that. Not that it's going to matter a whole lot because we are going to probably max out um, everything here, which we're getting pretty close to already. So I'm not really too, too worried about that. So we should be, we should be good to go. Um, I'll grab all of this. Um, let's grab you, pop you, let's grab you. Run back up here, get the, kit, the remaining 20 kills that we need for this, which should be fairly simple and easy. Cool, 10 kills, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we'll make our way over yonder. Uh, let's actually head down here, because we do have some stuff it looks like we have not picked up yet. So I'll make my way down here. Five points for this mushroom. Okay, I'll definitely take that. That's totally worth it, because I think the charming fungus is like double the stats of the lucky mushroom. Yeah, it's double the stats of the lucky mushroom, so that's that's pretty good. Or at least pretty dang close to it. I'd have to look at the lucky mushroom as well, but I think I think they're double. Which is pretty good. Alright, so I mean we're back to 28 gold. We have this. I might as well take it. Hopefully we don't get hit. I don't think we will unless we just constantly walk into stuff, which I have a very bad habit of doing, clearly. So we just gotta be careful of that. As long as we don't do that, like we should be able to wipe everything off the map um, and be just fine. So we are looking good so far. We only got 14 gold, which is or 15 gold, which isn't a lot, but that's okay. We still have uh, half a run to go. Oh, we got this over here, and then we have the gold mine we can hit up as well. I'm sure the gold mine has a good chunk of gold sitting in it because I haven't picked it up uh, yet um, this wave. So I'm, I I don't know if we'll have 12. Oh, it is max. Okay, cool. So that'll bump us up to 32, which isn't too bad. I mean, we do have the XP ring as well to get a bunch of levels. Right now I'm kind of hunting for gold though, because gold is definitely going to be something that we could definitely use a good amount of going into this boss uh, phase. Not that it matters, because we are running against uh, Ragnar, but Ragnar does have the two shielding periods. Um, but we should be able to shred him pretty quickly outside of those periods. I think those periods are like 15 or 30 seconds or something. I don't I don't know the exact timeline, but uh, they do do something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think we'll have I don't think we'll have any issues with uh, the peace routes. So I'm I'm a okay with uh, what we got going on here. A okay with what we got going on here. This is like. This is probably one of, I mean, I've already talked about a bunch of my favorites of this, but this is probably one of my favorite uh, relics or magic tools, whatever you want to call it, because this is just so flipping good, having uh, the peace routes. Like, I just love, like, the broken feeling of it and just how, how much is on the screen. Like, it's just it's just very enjoyable to me. Okay, let's grab this. Give us something good. And give us something good. Uh, nothing really good. We could have re-rolled, but uh, not. It, it, I don't think it would have mattered a whole lot there. Okay. Uh, we'll make our way back down here. See if we got anything else. We we still want to collect. Even though we got the relic exchanger, we still want to collect as many seedlings as possible, just because we still need them for meta progression purposes. So. We got 31. Let's let's start maxing out some of this stuff. So let's max you out. Let's max you out. Let's get you. Oh, let's get this. Okay, we're down to four. So let's grab you, and you get a green heart every 50 seconds. That's actually huge. I should have known about that. I mean, we have plenty of time, anyways. So looks like we got effect probs. Kind of a little bit of a bummer, but not the end of the world. I would love to get more area. I don't know why. Uh, do the coins get bigger the further out they go? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know what caused them to get so big. I mean, this boss is already dead, which is crazy. He's usually like kind of like the harder boss of uh, Midgard stage, so. But we shredded him. Uh, we'll pick you up. Uh, crit? We could get crit. We don't have a lot of crit. I'll get both of these. Why not? Oh, I didn't use the ring. Gosh darn it. I do want to say, if you guys um, are just tuning in for this video, 
And if you guys have made it this far, make sure you guys uh, go back to the start of the series and watch through the episodes. Um, definitely, definitely a lot of fun. I do, I have been enjoying the content. So make sure you guys go back and check them out. So you guys uh, get fully spun up on all of the uh, crazy runs that we've had so far. Like there's been, there's been a quite a few that have been absolutely insane. So you guys definitely don't want to miss out on uh, seeing any of those. So make sure you guys definitely go and check them out because they are, <laughs> they are crazy. Very, very crazy. All right, let's uh, jump out here and get the show continuing on. Uh, let's see. I do want to try and probably max this one out. Why not? Uh, coinage. Golden statues turn enemies into golden statues. Gold requirement for upgrades is reduced by 50% and two new upgrades are added to the list. Um, it's not really great for what I'm doing right now, so I think I'm going to go with this one. And shoots two giant powerful arrows. Arrows fall from the sky every... Okay, let's do this one. More projectiles. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? I will pop you. Give us something good. Gold, I mean... Not great, to be honest with you. Like, we don't need gold. We don't have Talkor that we're running into at the end of the run. So, like, getting gold kind of, kind of useless in a way. So... Um, have we gotten hit yet? We have not gotten hit yet because we still have the crystal dagger here, or the glass dagger, which is pretty, pretty showy. So we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So it shouldn't be too bad. Alright. <clears throat> not too bad, not too bad. Like, we're killing all the bosses that come near us, so I'm, I'm a-okay with that. more seconds this one always feels like it takes a while like because like you're just you're just standing there like, yeah i could run around but what's the what's the point man what's the point all right so let's grab this 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 cool not sh too shabby so now we got cooldown <clears throat> and damage which is insane holy XP. There is a ton of XP flowing around here. Let's do the big uh, giant walk around. I mean, we have the ring, so I'm not too worried about missing out on all of this, because the ring should pick it all up. It should get us pretty far. Okay. <clears throat> not bad, not bad, not bad. Looking good. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't think there's anything on the map that we really need to go for. Other than there is some uh, XP and stuff on the ground. Oh, is that an XP ring I see over there? Sure the heck is, dude. We'll pop this. We'll pick this one up. This should probably almost max us out, which will be insane <clears throat> if it does. Uh, actually, not, not quite, it looks like. Not quite. So I'll grab you. Uh, let's do movement speed first. And then we just have, what, two, four, seven XP left on that one. And then if we can max out uh, the the skull one, we can do that as well. Oh, the movement speed feels phenomenal. I love it. Too easy, dude. Just zooming around. Just zooming around. Like, this is insane. And it feels amazing being this quick. Okay. Grab you. I mean, we don't need the gold, but I'll still run around. Try and get as many seedlings as we can. We're up to 244, so we're looking pretty good on seedlings. Um, I don't know exactly where all the seedlings are on this map. Or on any of the maps in that fact, but... I'll still run around, try and get as many as we can. We're up to 252. If I can break 300 seedlings, that that I think would be a very good run. Uh, I would I would of course want to try and get close to 400 or 500 if possible, but I don't think that's going to be possible. So I'm just running around trying to grab as many seedlings as possible on the map. So far, so good it looks like. So I can't complain too much. I wonder if the more islands you get into. I wonder if it'll add more waves, like more than three waves, or if three waves is just the cap. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys have ran uh, a bunch of, like if you guys have made it further than I have, 
Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have. If so, um, let me know down in the comments because I'm curious if, like, what exactly you need to do that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious, like, does it get harder in that way, where they add more waves, or do they just make the uh, enemies tankier, like, hit harder, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm sure we'll, de we'll definitely end up getting to it, um, but it might be a little bit before we get to it. So, we got full green hearts, should be pretty good there. Oh, we still get Takor. Oh, crap. Maybe I should have been picking up all the gold. I didn't think we got Takor. I guess once you unlock Takor, he's in every final room. I just realized we've been buying from Takor this entire freaking game. What? I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. Holy smokes. Uh, critical... I don't care about those. I mean, movement speed would be great, but I mean, I'd rather get some of this stuff. Uh, damage. Pull down. Um, area. Area. Do something good. Um, cool down. Or damage. Let's go cool down. And let's get the show on the road, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Pop this. Give us something good. Give us something good. Um, area. Let's do area. Area baby. We're gonna probably shred this guy up to his shield. Boom. Shield. Deploy. The only problem with this is like I can't see what's on the ground. Like there's a lot going on. But our peace sprouts shall take out the uh, good old Ragnar. Oh, we got more cooldown? Not bad. With this, I feel like rushing the ultimate um, is probably pretty pretty strong. Like, something that you should probably really do. Like, with Takor, you should probably rush the ultimate to be able to utilize it the most. Or if you get it on Missing and Chaos, you probably want to utilize it the most to be able to get the most out of the ultimate. But sweet, we uh, beat it, leveled up, and yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy, baby. Nothing to co complain about, other than that first little uh, screw up. But if you guys have made it this far, let's check out the Relic Exchanger. So it looks like we can exchange seedlings for more relics or something. You won't lose your relics if you reset your run or die before the first boss. Oh, so you can add more relics into your runs it looks like potentially so that that's pretty interesting i mean it's going to be a while before we do that because we have a lot going on over here but uh we have one more run we have chaos and then we'll be in the axle door where we can spend all of our available leaves which we don't have a whole lot of yet only 20 but uh once again thank you guys all for watching this has been nordic ashes and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next episode peace out